Well, for today's project, I'm going to finally get the Toyota E-Lockers wired up in my Suzuki Samurai. I stayed up late last night and I made up this relay box right here. Uh, basically, it's just a series of 12-volt automotive relays and then uh, terminal blocks right here for my external connections. Uh, now, the reason, basically what these things do is they control power uh, and polarity to the actuator motor inside of the locker. Uh, we need these relays because there, there are a series of limit switches in the axle that tell us whether or not it's locked or unlocked and those limit switches aren't capable of carrying motor current through them. So basically what happens is we've got a dash switch right here. Uh, I've got one for the front and for the rear locker. We click this, it sends power to the actuator motor, the motor locks the axle up, and once it's in the lock position, the limit switch opens, which uh, kills power to the relay. When we go back to the unlock position, uh, that reverses polarity to the motor, and it moves back to the unlock position uh, until the uh, uh, limit switch is actuated for the unlock position, and then that kills power to the motor again. So. This is kind of this is my own design. I sketched it out on a on a piece of paper out here in the shop and then threw it all together. So hopefully it works. Uh, if it does, I'll go ahead and drop the circuit diagram and share it here on the YouTube video. Well, I got my relay control box thing here all buttoned up and wired up. I've got my wiring loom right here. I've actually got quite a bit more uh, harness here than I actually need but there's plenty of room behind the dash for me to loop that up there. And I wanted to leave this uh, so that I could pull the box out with the wiring harness hooked up and do any troubleshooting. Since this is kind of experimental, I wanted to be able to pull this cover off with the box wired up and troubleshoot any failed uh, relays or uh, resistors in there or anything. So um, anyway, let's go ahead and put this uh, thing up on some jack stands and do some testing. That's good. I can hear both the relays clicking and the lockers actuating in both the front and the rear axles. Okay, I got this front passenger side of my Samurai up on a floor jack right here. And as you can see, this right front tire turns independently of the other one. I'll go ahead and uh, actuate the front locker, and what it should do is lock the two uh, front axles together. So I won't be able to do this anymore. And there we go, it's working properly. The front axle is now locked up. Now we're going to go ahead and do the same test on the rear. So I got the right rear tire up on a floor jack, and as you can see it turns independently of the, uh, of the left rear tire. So now we'll go ahead and lock this uh, axle up and make sure that this tire locks as well. There it goes. Locked up. wrapped up. Thank you guys for watching and stay tuned because I got some more cool stuff lined up for this samurai.